Three, two, one, T minus five minutes and counting. We have a go for the Orbiter APU start. Pilot Blaha is now flipping the three switches in the cockpit to start each of the three APUs. APU activation is complete. Commander Fred Gregory has been asked to reconfigure the orbiter heaters for launch. He reports that those heaters are reconfigured. T minus four minutes, 27 seconds and counting. The solid rocket booster and external tank safe and arm devices have been armed. Liquid oxygen replenishing of the external tank now has been terminated. Report now that the APU start is complete. Coming up now on T minus four minutes. The main engine final perch sequence is underway. The main engine valves are being checked. The orbiter flight control surfaces, such as the elevon, speed brakes, and rudder, are now being moved through a pre programmed pattern to verify that they are ready for launch. T minus three minutes, 45 seconds, and counting. All systems on board the space shuttle are reported go. Coming up now on T minus three minutes, 30 seconds, and counting. All three of Discovery's main engines are now being gimbaled which is a steering check to verify the readiness for flight control. When this check is complete, they'll be aligned to their main engine start positions. Coming up now on the three minute mark in the count, T minus 310 and counting. T minus three minutes. T minus 255, the pressurization of the liquid oxygen tank will begin, and the gaseous nitrogen of the main engines will be terminated. Ground launch sequencer has started a retract of the gaseous oxygen fin hood, which is the beanie cap on the external tank. The computers will make a final check to ensure that the vent arm is fully retracted at the T minus 37 second point. Ground supply of hydrogen and oxygen for the orbiter fuel cells has now been turned off. Discovery is running on its onboard reactants. The orbiter test conductor will, sh will shortly be asking John Blaha to clear the caution and warning system. The crew now has been told to close their visors on their launch and reentry helmets and to start the oxygen supply to their pressure suits. We are go now for liquid hydrogen pressurization. Replenishing of the external tank is stopped. The tank being pressurized to flight level. The space shuttle is now isolated from all ground propellant and fluid loading equipment. T minus 90 seconds. We're less than a minute and a half away from the launch of STS-33 on the space shuttle Discovery with its five astronaut crew. At T minus one minute, the ground loss sequencer will verify that the shuttle main engines are ready to start. The liquid hydrogen tank is now at flight pressure. T minus one minute, 10 seconds. T minus one minute, the sound suppression water system is now armed. Water will be released at T minus 16 seconds at a flow rate of 900,000 gallons per minute. The heaters around the solid rocket booster joints have now been turned off. The hydrogen burn igniters have now been armed. The igniters will be fired at T minus 10 seconds to burn off any ambient hydrogen under the main engine nozzles. The solid rocket booster flight instrumentation recorders have now gone into the record mode. The main propulsion system oxygen and hydrogen fill valves have now been closed. T minus 27 seconds, we have a go for auto sequence start. T minus 23 seconds and counting. The orbiter's body flap and speed brake have been positioned for the launch. T minus 15 seconds and counting. The sound suppression water system has started. The launch igniters and pyrotechnics are armed. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one, liftoff. Liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery for its Thanksgiving Day mission. Roll program initiated. Guidance officer confirmed a good roll maneuver. Three engine throttling back now to 65% as Discovery passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. Velocity now 2,000 feet per second. APUs all looking good. Velocity now 2,300 feet per second. All three engines have now throttled back up to 104%. The crews received the go at throttle up call, meaning all systems are performing normally. Discovery now at velocity of 4,000 feet per second. Three engines running at 104%. All three APUs looking good. Downrange distance, 14 nautical miles. Separation of the solid rocket boosters has been, been confirmed by the booster officer. Velocity now 5,000 feet per second. Discovery 40 nautical miles downrange. Flight Dynamics Officer has confirmed a nominal performance from the combination of the engines and the solid rocket boosters. This call means that we have uh, gotten the expected thrust for the vehicle out of the uh, booster system. Discovery now at uh, 5,200 feet per second velocity, altitude of 45 nautical miles and 70 nautical miles downrange. Discovery now has the uh, capability to reach the transatlantic abort site should one engine fail. Three engines still looking good. APUs all performing well. Velocity now 6,000 feet per second. Downrange 90 nautical miles. Discovery now moving at a velocity of 7,500 feet per second, downrange 145 nautical miles, at an altitude of 54 nautical miles. All engines looking good, and Discovery uh, has received the negative return call, meaning that it is no longer, po no longer possible for Discovery re to return to the launch site.
Discovery now visible uh, through the television cameras on location at Dryden Flight Research Facility uh, at Edwards Air Force Base in California. Discovery's velocity now Mach 1.7 at 72,000 feet altitude. Flight Dynamics Officer reports Discovery is looking good, coming up on the heading alignment circle. Velocity now Mach 0.9. Discovery will make a right overhead turn on the heading alignment circle of 336 degrees. Flight Dynamics Officer reports Discovery looking good, rolling onto the heading alignment circle. Velocity 800 feet per second. Altitude is 38,000 feet. Guidance, navigation, and control officer reports nav is good. Discovery coming around the heading alignment circle, now about halfway around. Velocity 600 feet per second, altitude 25,000 feet. Discovery looks good, rolling on to final, as reported by the Flight Dynamics Officer. Surface winds are reported to be 19 knot headwind and a 4 knot right crosswind, well within the limits for landing at uh, runway 4. Altitude is now 13,000 feet about one and a half minutes to touchdown.
Altitude now 6,000 feet. Flight Dynamics Officer reports that Discovery is converging on the center line above runway 4. Gear down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Nose gear touchdown. Discovery rolling out at the end of mission STS 33 at Edwards Air Force Base on runway 4. Commander Gregory reports wheel stop.